guys welcome back to my channel so today we're talking about my lips so you guys have been asking me to do a video just talking about my experience I did get lip fillers and yeah I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about my experience how it went did it hurt how much it costs all that jazz so I actually got my lips done about a month ago so I'm looking here I got them done Tuesday April 11th and before we get started I know we don't need any disclaimers here I know I don't need to explain myself to anyone but I do have a lot of younger viewers and I just wanted to tell you guys that I am 24 I'm gonna be 25 this year so I made this decision now but I've been thinking of doing this for a really long time so I did get a few comments saying that you know I was just trying to you know keep up with the trends and I just wanted to do it because everyone else was doing it but that's actually not true I've wanted to get my upper lip filled for a while so growing up I always 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 had a smaller upper lip and a lot of you guys didn't really realize that because I would overline them but if you look at my older videos where I didn't really wear too much makeup you would see that my top lip was very small compared to my bottom lip so I always loved my shape so I loved my cupid's bow I loved how pointy it was and I really really liked my shape I just didn't like that when I smiled in pictures my upper lip would completely disappear if I didn't overline them they would disappear and even overlining them was actually not doing me any justice because when I would overline my lips I would kind of go over my cupid's bow so I was hiding my shape so I wasn't accentuating it I was hiding it so I finally made the decision to get lip filler which is not permanent so before you freak out and say oh my god I hate it like it's not permanent I absolutely love my lips I mean at first they were swollen and I know you guys were concerned um, I actually like them at their swollen stage right now I do have on a lip color that I feel plumps your lips it's a Smashbox little lipstick but the way the applicator is kind of formed it kind of makes your lips look a little bit poutier so they do look a little bit poutier right now my number one concern was that my upper lip wasn't proportioned to my bottom lip it was just becoming too time-consuming to overline and sometimes I'd make one side bigger than the other or you know around my cupid's bow I would either make it too round or it just wasn't even so that's number one you know I just I was tired of overlining and when I sit down to do my makeup I want my lips to be easier so I was tired of overlining and I felt like my lips weren't proportioned just to each other like my top lip to my bottom lip but also to my face because I feel like having a small upper lip just made my nose look bigger so I know that sounds kind of weird but I just felt like it just wasn't proportioned and when I would look at myself in the mirror I wouldn't really notice it as much but I would take pictures or someone would take a picture of me that's when I really noticed and especially like side profile my top lip was just kind of like shriveling over time like it got smaller and another concern that I had was that every time I would put on a liquid lipstick my lips looked so dry and the reason is because I had tons of lines on my lips now I've bought every single chapstick you can ever think of high-end low-end I've bought scrubs I've done treatments like lip treatments from Sephora and the lines just wouldn't go away because that's just how my natural lip shape is it has a lot of lines and when I would do lip gloss you wouldn't really see it but when I would do a matte liquid lipstick or a darker liquid lipstick like this kind of color if I would do that with my normal lips without the injection you would see a ton of lines and I still do have a couple of lines there but they're a lot smoother so ever since I got them done applying liquid lipstick is just so much easier that being said I'm not telling you or urging you to go get your lips done this is my personal decision it's my body my lips so I decided to go forward with this this wasn't something that just happened overnight like this was something that I've been wanting for a really long time and I put off for a really long time because I don't know I just always felt too young or I just felt like you know what if I hate them and also living in New York I just felt like I didn't know where to go so I found Dr. Gersman actually on Instagram um, I was just looking up places to get facials in New York and I like to read reviews I like to see other people go to places like I don't just trust anyone so I was looking and I saw that someone had gotten a facial from her and it looked amazing her skin looked amazing so I went on her Instagram I clicked we ended up speaking so when I went for the consultation I went with my mom she was so sweet like as soon as we spoke like we just clicked we were just talking about social media we were talking about YouTube about you know appearances and how New Yorkers tend to want that really natural natural look and how we don't really wear too much makeup outside compared to other places that we had been so like when I'm in Cali it's normal for people to wear like makeup and you know surgery is like not taboo like here in New York we like that on the go natural look even if it's not natural we like still to look natural so you know I was just telling her like I want the most natural 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 lips 
as possible. And what really sold me with Dr. Gersman is that she was like, listen, I love your face. I love your features. I love your lips. I love your lip shape. I do not want to take away from them. I just want to enhance them because I had actually overlined them when I went in for my consultation. She had noticed that I was overlining my lips to a point where you couldn't see my shape. And she was just like, well, we like your shape, so we want to accentuate it. We ended up doing one full syringe of Juvederm. So I actually thought I was only going to do half. But when she started applying it and she started like evening everything out, we ended up using one syringe. So the total cost for one milliliter of Juvederm at her office is $7.50. And it says Juvederm is used to fill in wrinkles where there is a loss of volume. It is also used for lip, cheek, and chin enhancement. So that's pretty much like the basics. So $7.50, one milliliter, Dr. Leslie Grisman, located in Manhattan in beautiful office gorgeous I walked in and I was like this is what I want my studio one day to look like I just I loved everything so I knew we were on the same page like we had the same style you know she had the fur rug and obviously your office doesn't mean everything well for me it meant that we were on the same page style wise like she was very updated A clean office that looks really up to date and modern, it, it means a lot to me. So I don't know if that means a lot to you, but as soon as I walked in, I felt like, okay, I love it here. I feel really comfortable. And then once I started speaking to Dr. Grisman, like I was just like, okay, I feel totally 100% comfortable. We were on the same page about everything, about what we wanted to do to my lips. And you know, she was just so reassuring to me that she wasn't going to overdo it. And that made me feel really comfortable. What also prolonged this process was my fear of needles. I am so close to passing out every time I get my blood drawn that I was terrified of this process. Now I did get my eyebrows microbladed which does involve like a blade not really a needle but this is like a needle. So she put the numbing cream and I felt completely numb and then I started freaking out like okay where is the needle like where is it I need to see it but what I did was I just literally shut my eyes and it made it so much better because I think for me I'm just really scared of how it looks. So when I get my blood drawn I will like pass out if I don't close my eyes so I've learned from past experiences that when I see a needle I have to just shut down close and that takes away most of the fear watching someone like use a needle really scares me I hate seeing blood I hate seeing needles I'm very 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 squirmish when it comes to that type of stuff like a big baby like I can't see blood I can't I will cry like I don't want to see that so I was like okay I'm just gonna close my eyes and let her do her thing so my lips were completely numb like I thought my lips were this huge which put the numbing cream they weren't but you just feel like that I don't know if you guys ever got numbing cream on your mouth or like you know inside your mouth but you feel so weird you feel like you're talking funny you have a lisp you feel like you're drooling like they were numb 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 and I was really happy but also scared because I'm like I don't feel anything on my lips but I was like I'm happy for that because I know that I'm not gonna feel as much pain when she actually inserts the injection so I laid down in her beautiful room I had my poker face I was like I'm cool this is this is whatever close my eyes and to be honest at first I was like oh this is nothing because she started on my upper lip and I didn't really feel anything like it was the slightest little pinch at first I was like okay my pain tolerance is really high like I can take this but then I realized like no her numbing cream is just really amazing because I'm a baby like if I get a paper cut I'm like meh like I get like I put a band-aid over it you know so I was like okay at first I just thought I was taking like a champ but Honestly, it was the numbing cream and the fact that she had left it on for, you know, the right amount of time. So, they were completely numb. And I just felt like slight pinches, like slight pressure. My eyes were closed. I had a lot of numbing cream. So, at first, I was like, okay, this is nothing. Now, you do feel a little bit more pressure in the center of the lip. That's where I was like, okay, a little uncomfortable, nothing crazy. Like, for my eyebrows and for my lips, I knew that I had an end goal, which is to get it done. So, I wasn't really too focused on pain. I was just like, focused on the fact that I'm actually doing it I feel like the amount of time that she was injecting was perfect because you could tell she was not rushing but you could also tell that we weren't gonna be there for like years and years because I feel like that also could like scare you when you're just like staying there for too long I know some people get like panicky so she would inject and then she would kind of like mold it now again I have my eyes closed but I just felt like you know her gloves kind of touching my lips so I guess molding the Juvederm inside so she injected on the top and the bottom but mainly on the top because that's where I needed more volume but she did even out the bottom just a little bit and I actually ended up getting a little bit of Juvederm on my nose so it's like a non-surgical nose job and she ended up putting a little bit right here at the bridge of my nose and then just down here near the tip because I did have a little bit of a bump so I just wanted my nose to be a little bit 
straighter so it's not invasive obviously it's just an injection and she used a tiny tiny bit because she didn't want to overdo it I didn't have like too much of a hump or a bump or an indent but I did have a little bit of an indent right over here where it would cause kind of like a line right near the tip of my nose I would have like a line just because I did have like that little indentation there so she did use a little bit of Juvederm on my nose again just like a small pinch I wasn't painful nothing too crazy so I looked in the mirror and she said that since my skin was sensitive and since like my body is sensitive I did have a little bit of bleeding on the bottom lip like the left side of my lip so she said you know it's normal for that to bruise I'm the type of person that gets easily bruised so I expected to get bruised on my lips because I've seen other videos I've seen other people go through getting lip injections and they always bruise so I'm like I probably bruise 10 times more just because I'm like bubble boy and I'm susceptible to like everything but I didn't bruise as bad as I thought I would I just bruised mainly on my lower lip and a teeny tiny bit on my upper lip and then I had a tiny little mark here where she used Juvederm on my nose so that one was really small uh, you can use makeup when you are healing but I decided not to I decided for that week just to kind of let my skin breathe but I went out in public so after she was done you know she massaged the area because you do kind of have to like massage the Juvederm or mold it so she was you know massaging it and, you know making sure everything was exactly how it was supposed to be and she made an appointment for me to come back for my checkup so she wanted two weeks to pass by just to check on how even they were so when I ended up going back in for my checkup I ended up getting a microdermabrasion facial so it was my first microdermabrasion facial so I had a ton of small bumps under my skin basically like trapped oil so trapped sebum and I did have like this skin tone flesh tone bump right over here it was like trapped oil it weren't pimples I didn't have any acne but I did have like under the skin trapped oil just because of you know the amount of makeup I wear so I did have some congestion underneath my skin so I ended up getting the microdermabrasion when I went back in for my checkup for my lips and it was an interesting feeling it's basically like a suction so I'll insert a clip right here of what it looks like but it kind of felt like a vacuum on my skin and she did like toner and like all this other creams and things like that and then we did this light treatment like an infrared treatment um, that's supposed to help with like brightness and it's supposed to protect your skin so I did get some extractions which I've never really gotten done professionally so the main extraction was right over here near my nose where I had that really stubborn stubborn trapped oil and then some extractions around my mouth but it wasn't anything too intense my skin was a bit red after because my skin gets red even even if you just rub it even just like scratch my face it'll stay red so I did have some redness afterwards and it took about a week for my skin to fully fully heal because I'm sensitive usually it takes about three days but I'm so happy to get those really stubborn underneath like trapped oils out because it makes a huge difference when you're applying your makeup um, in heavy lighting you might not see it but when you walk outside that's when you can really see what's underneath your skin and I had a lot of congestion that I didn't even really realize that was really awesome getting that facial because I had never gotten a professional facial done and I'm happy it was with Dr. Leslie Gersman because she's a doctor so she knows exactly what she's doing I felt super safe in her hands so back to my lips I'm trying to think of what other questions you guys might have. I guess another question someone might have is how long it will last, but that's a tricky one because it really just depends on your body. Some bodies take it better than others. Usually the results are supposed to last, they say, six months to a year, and then you can just keep getting touch-ups. So it really just depends on your personal body. Like Just like tattoos, on some people they fade a lot faster, depends on how your body really takes it. Some say it lasts four to six months, some say a year, again just depends on your body and then you can decide to get a touch up or you can just let your filler dissolve you can also decide to get your filler removed so there is a way to remove the filler if you are not 100% happy with it but I am 100% happy with my filler so I'm obviously not going to remove it and when I watched other videos about people getting their lips done the question that I always had on my mind was how does it feel afterwards like do your lips feel different when you press them when you eat when you drink so for the first two weeks I felt a little weird I felt weird a little bit just like talking and eating just because I wasn't used to having volume on my my lips but now I feel completely normal you do feel the Juvederm so if you actually like touch your lips you can feel it because there is something in your lips it's not gonna feel exactly like your old lips but I will say that you get a lot more comfortable and used to it after a while I feel completely normal with my lips with and without makeup I don't feel like they look too big or just like unproportioned or hard or bubbly or anything weird like that so I had a really good experience with my doctor and like I said she was so sweet so professional and you know just 
talking to her, like I can see the passion and the love that she has for her practice. And also the staff there, so sweet. So I just felt really comfortable. I felt like I was in really good hands. I don't want anyone to feel like pressures from society or pressure from anyone else to get anything done. This was my personal choice and like I said, I've wanted this from before. Like this isn't just like a Kylie Jenner trend for me. Like this is something that I wanted for my face because I felt like it would suit me. I feel like it's your body, your choice. You know, you make the best decision for yourself. So don't let the media influence you either way. So I feel like a lot of people don't want to do it because they feel scared that their friends and their family or anyone is just gonna you know scold them and tell them that they shouldn't do that but then on the other side I feel like other people do want to get them just because they see other people getting them so I feel like you should genuinely ask yourself you know what will make you happy what decision you want to make for your body it's completely up to you 100% up to you not to anyone else I mean obviously if you're a minor it's really not up to you but if you are an adult and you are capable of making your own decisions it is your body so you can make that decision for yourself so I just always felt really scared to go to anyone because I'm like well I want to hear someone's experience first I'm an avid Yelp review reader like I like to know what other people go through because I don't want to put myself in any situation that I'm gonna be uncomfortable or I'm not gonna be happy with if you feel negative towards it you know that's okay because it's not your body it's not your lips it's mine so I spoke to the doctor and I was you know telling her that I really want to have you know like a deal for you guys like a special so if you guys are located in New York and you want to see her so they're actually gonna be offering a 20% off it's only gonna be valid for a certain amount of time definitely look at the description bar if you're interested because it's not gonna be like a forever thing if you're in New York you can go for a consultation the consultation is free which I think is really cool too so you can just go and speak to her and just kind of tell her your concerns they do a ton of different services not just lips so definitely check out her website as well you know she's obviously the professional and she will explain everything a lot better I'm just giving you my experience on what I got done I'm happy to be transparent with you guys I want to be hundred percent transparent with you guys I'm not gonna hide anything from you so yes I got my lips done and I got a little bit on my nose so yeah if you guys have any other questions I would be happy to answer them so let me know if you have any other questions about this service and thank you all for the kind feedback and for your kind words I know on snapchat I've been talking to you guys about it every time I post a picture with or without makeup you guys are always saying how natural my lips look which makes me so happy because I feel like they look natural and that's exactly what I wanted I wanted a natural natural look so I will have the address to the office I'll have the doctor's website I'll have everything listed down below the promotion the price what I got done I'll have that all in the description bar so check that out and anything else that I feel like I missed so that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.